Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. Tonight's guest is a special guest. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna give anything away. I'm just gonna go ahead and read the bio and then I'll introduce them and then we'll get started. Sham Bam, thank you, ma'am. It's a comedian, variety streamer, and karaoke enthusiast. Sham Benson, a proud individual hailing from vibrant city of San Antonio, Texas, has always been a force of joy and inclusivity. With preferred pronouns, they, them, Sham discovered their love for music, video games, and the art of making people laugh from an early age. In 2012, Sham took the stage in the world of stand-up comedy, using their unique perspective to connect with audiences through humor. The passion for entertainment expanded further in 2017 when Sham embraced the digital realm, starting a journey into streaming. As a content creator, they effortlessly blend their love for gaming, music, and infectious laughter into a welcoming online space. As Sham says, have a seat, stay a week, don't ask for nothing to eat. And with that, I'd like to introduce my guest for this evening, Sham Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome to the stream. Hey. I need you to read my eulogy, all right? Hey, I got you. I got you. If I'm <laughs> if I'm here before you, I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you for doing the podcast. How is your day going so far? Oh, my day is crispy. It's been good. It's been good. Just work. How's yours? My day is great. Today was one of those days where a lot of stuff had to get done that was not fun, but it got done, and I can't complain about it. So with that, I am very interested because of all my homies that I have, I don't know everyone's origin story. And fortunately for me, I have a podcast in which I can bug my my friends about everything that I want and they have to answer into the microphone. So with that being said, Sham, what is your origin story? How did you get started in content creation? Well, one day I was sitting at home and my parents died and I'm playing. What? Anyway, <laughs> I was like, wow, oh, this just got deep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got me yep no i used to do uh stand up i did stand up back in 2012 2013 around that time i was working at toyota one of my homies said i'm pretty funny he was doing stand up already and kind of turning me on mm -hmm. had me do some open open mics and a couple of times we get to i got to open for him for a couple of things which was cool mm -hmm. but after that i got into a relationship and really didn't do it anymore okay and uh Started playing. I mean, I play a lot of video games all the time. And one of my friends, you know, we were playing Destiny. He was all like, you know, you're funny as hell. You should just fucking do this on stream because people do it on stream all the time. I'm all like, oh, you mean like Bungie? Because he's like, no, anybody <laughs> can stream. It's not just Bungie. I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am looking at Justin TV for stuff on Bungie. And, you know, here we are. That's awesome. Seven years later. <laughs> yes. All right. So what is your current content looking like are you still streaming did you start up what what is the content coming out of sham nowadays well we um of course playing a lot of video games every once in a while here and there i've been doing a lot of collaborations with some friends and okay. trying to step outside of my box one of those biggest collaborations is something that me and my best friend control quinn shout out quinn oh uh, one of my best friend my best friend and I create something called Ladies Variety Show. Okay. This is uh, something that happens every so often on a Saturday where we come up with a theme and we basically run with that theme. We create everything on the back end that sticks to that theme. We dress up for that theme. We sing songs cl close to that theme. Okay. We do like karaoke. We do some improv. We do some freestyling. It's a fun time. Yeah, I have seen some clips that came out of that production and I don't hold on. I actually maybe it didn't. I saw a clip of you and Quinn with like old lady, like y'all look like grandmas or something like that. Oh yeah. Was that from <laughs> Yeah, that? that was one of those. Okay. Yeah, that was from that. That was a a when I'm 64 show whenever wow. we were acting like we were old and in the retirement <laughs> home and Yeah. We had the whole retirement set up. It was pretty dope. That is awesome. <laughs> I think having people think outside the box when it comes to their streams, I think once you do it long enough, the first couple of years, you're just like, ah, I'm playing games. And after that, you're like, how can I make this something? How can I produce a show out of this? And like, that is one awesome idea. That is amazing. How, who came up with it? Y'all did it together or? 
the funny thing is, well, um, Twitch Things was like pretty oh, popping. Yeah. That's how I actually met Quinn was Twitch Things, and we would always get together and start singing, and then we have these tangents where we'll like not be singing and we'll be talking about whatever uh-huh. and me and Quinn were like you know we, we should just keep it we're pretty hilarious together we should just come up with a show where we're doing this together and i came up with the name thades and here we are <laughs> that is awesome we've already on our second season now and we have our friends send in content that's to the theme that yeah. we also add in which is a pretty freaking awesome Oh, that is amazing. Ah, I get too excited when people tell me their uh, their content stuff. So I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? That makes a perfect segue into our next section. Sham, what is your current mindset in regards to not only your content that you're creating right now, but of the landscape as a whole? Like, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? What's got you jazz? What's got you down? What's that look like for you? my motivation is laughter i enjoy way too much way too much i say that as a comedian i enjoy way too much people laughing at things that i do and say and i want to come up with new innovative ways to do that but also make sure that i'm also being inclusive at the same time Mm -hmm. because there's something there's a problem with comedians one of those problems is always fogging down on people of whatever it may be a race uh people of dis- with disabilities i want to be able to make you laugh without making you feel bad yeah i don't want to like have have you sitting there like dang that hurt my feelings but it's funny no we we don't have to do that true we don't have to do that i love that and so when you when it comes to your content do you i guess that's just the back of your head how do i make this entertaining inclusive and not having to like break somebody down exactly including myself too because people also do that a lot too that oh you know what if i can't make fun of people i can make fun of myself no mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a bad bitch <laughs> yes <The fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be super confident not make fun of you and still make you laugh like that's rare like a lot of people are not doing that nowadays exactly I was sitting here trying to analyze, like when I watch TikTok now, like my my head is in the why am I why am I still watching this? Like what it whatever it is, like a commercial, somebody trying to be funny, like information. I'm like, why am I still watching this? And unfortunately, I've come to the realization that like a lot of stuff, like if it's flashing, a lot of stuff is moving. I'm the glued to it. But then I started listening to the context. There's a lot of people who downplay themselves in their content, like. They got millions of views, but they're like talking shit about themselves and like, oh, this isn't that good, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why am I, why? No, for real, why am I watching this now? Cause like that shit's sinking into my head. I don't need that in my head. God damn it. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yes. It, it may be funny and relatable to self deprecate, but who, like, no, I, maybe I'm a narcissist. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there'll be a study that comes out. I'm like, this is why you should not make fun of yourself mm-hmm. x y and z i'm waiting for that study i like you said you've been doing this for a while you've been creating content how long you've been streaming for what like seven years almost had breaks between not True. long breaks but like breaks like a couple months yeah but yeah seven years uh it'll be seven years in june okay or may, may. yep is he gonna throw a party or are you just gonna let that one you know what the last couple the last few years every time the anniversary comes i forget <laughs> i forget i'm like um oh shit. <laughs> by the way two weeks ago was the <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> i'm the same way i'm like oh today's my street i should do it's too late i'm not planning anything it's just and then by. i like try to come up on blanks so of what oh what should i actually do oh should, i don't want to like make y'all give me money because i've been streaming for seven years but that does cross my mind you know (laughs) i am not shooting down the next person the next content creator for doing subathons and right that that's something i'm not and get your fucking money do Mm -hmm. what the hell you do but i feel really weird at and that's just me because i'm a person like that i don't like asking people for help for shit i can be like walking down the street with one sock on and so maybe footies on my toes yeah and i'm still not gonna ask you for help right i hear I'm you just that, that type of bitch mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what oh, i don't know how we got to this point but i used to be i used to be the exact same way i never asked for a goddamn thing but 
I think you know that sometimes asking for help is not the worst thing in the world. And sometimes it'll get to you where do you need to go a lot faster. But yeah, I, I was the same way. Truth. I mean, I have a beauty, beautiful community who's helped me through a mm. lot of things when I do ask for it. And I don't, I'm like, I don't deserve y'all. I feel like I want to give that all back to y'all yeah. every single time. But that's just the, that's just a sham thing. I'm seeing a therapist about it. We'll, okay. We'll, okay. Good. We'll, well, hopefully we'll, just, we'll get over that bridge. Yeah. We'll <laughs> just let that one go for now. When we get you back on here, I'll ask him like, hey, how's uh, you asked for help today? That'll be your training. Just send you out into the mall. Ask for, can you show me where Ross's is? <laughs> it's behind you. Didn't you look? God damn. God damn. <laughs> this is why I don't ask for help. <laughs> this is why I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all that history and that, that time doing what you love in the content game, what would be a, a lesson learned that you have taken away from those years? I guess that kind of goes back to our last thing that we just talked about a moment ago about asking for help you know though i hate doing it <laughs> like i said before i have a beautiful community and those times when i asked for help they've come through and shined every single time mm. whether it be something like oh you know what i need ten dollars to put gas in my car or oh you know what uh i need to figure out how to install this thing on this mod or something whatever it may be mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to ask your community, your your peers for help, because sometimes they may shine through and surprise the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. Here's one example. Okay. My one of one of my goals for the year of 2023. Okay. Was to be on a panel, for a, a panel at a con, and guess what? Wow. I was on a panel at a con. I was yeah. in a workshop at a con at TwitchCon of all things. That is awesome hell yeah like what what's my life this <laughs> happened <laughs> listen you said you wanted it and you went and got it that's it like simple as that all because i asked no that is a i'm glad i'm glad you learned that lesson and i'm glad that i feel like more people need to learn that lesson i don't want to harp on asking for help but for again for a long time it was just a mental block in my head that for some reason asking for help was a sign of weakness once i overcame that like a lot of opportunities and stuff have opened up for me and I, i've been grateful for that enlightenment so definitely look into it if you're a person like me and shaman it's like i don't i don't ask for help i don't need it just, you know, double check that that thought every once in a while. Exactly. This is unscheduled, but I just had a I got to know what is the origin story of your screen name? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> if you can, if you can't, you can let just be like, nah, that story. You got to pay for that story. <laughs> well, uh, I have a, a long form name. My my first name isn't just Sham. It's. I got you. I'm uh -huh. playing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because of because of that, because my name is long, and people always, for some weird reason, even though it's not that hard to pronounce or say, or when you read it, it exactly it is what it is when you read my name. But then people always we know why. Yeah. Well, because of that. Yeah. <laughs> and including my grand, my I have a. A little grandmother on my on my dad's <laughs> side who couldn't say my name oh, either. Oh man! And she she would call me Sham, which is okay. Yeah. And I had friends who also did that too. Now and and then after I got old enough uh, and I started feeling good about using Sham, I was like, hey, create a, a nickname for me. So I've had, you know, the obvious nicknames like Sham Wow. Okay. And yep. Sham and Emma Ding Dong. That was a favorite. I love that one. Uh, <laughs> bringing that back <laughs> shazam all of that okay I, I, but sham bam thank you man was something that was given to me in college by a friend gotcha all i can say is don't ask why i, I can only guess once upon a time not long ago i was a ho hey! <laughs> <laughs> sham bam thank you i love it that is a i like that origin story it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, it could be crazier. I, exactly. It's not that unfiltered, God damn it. <laughs> this is not OF. Yeah, we're not there yet. Mm, yet. <clears throat> so uh, I'm a new creator. I just 
woke up one day and I was like, man, I've been seeing all these other people do cool shit on YouTube and stream. What would be the words of advice that you would provide to somebody who just now wanted to get started? First and foremost, don't feel like you have to do it every day. That's very important. Please make sure you give yourself some mental time to breathe. To also give yourself time to come up with content that you can put on another day. And, and also, if you come up with these ideas, you don't have to use them all at once. You can use them in spurts. Yeah. Beautiful thing about TikTok that I've learned from even you. I learned this from you. Mm -hmm. You can record things for yourself and then have it for later. We talked about this at TwitchCon oh, when we met. Yeah. That you, you do a lot of drafts and, and when you have the energy. And then you'll just post them when you have time to, like, keep the, the content going. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fucking genius. Here's another genius thing that... I've learned myself personally, thank shout out to my my sponsor, Voodoo Ranger. You never know who's watching. So always act as if you have a million people watching. Something that I do for myself, I turn off my numbers when I'm streaming, I turn off only thing I have is me in the chat and music. Mm -hmm. I don't need to see that all that stuff until after it's done, because that's when it really matters. But you never know who's watching. You mm -hmm. can have three people in your chat. You can have one person in your chat. That one person in your chat can be somebody like freaking Phil Spencer. You never know. Yeah. You never know. And then they'll hit you up out of nowhere like, hey, by the way, we love your content and we want to sponsor you. Like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you was in my chat? I didn't even know. Right? You never know who's watching. Just keep doing it and act as if you have a million people watching all the time. Is that what happened with a uh, Voodoo Ranger? Yeah. I did not know they were chilling in my shit. I was like, cool. And here I am now, almost four years later, yeah. still sponsored by them. Uh, that's crazy that you brought that up. Cause I've been like, I was thinking like, I know you, you've been sponsored by them since I've known you. And I'm like, how did she like, did she reach out to them? Cause I, I'm still in that realm of like, I have no idea how to get sponsorships. And a lot of people have the same information you just told me stream like you're streaming to a million people and you never know who's going to watch you because most people were like hey i saw your content we want to do this at x y and z and i'm like oh okay okay that's awesome congrats on that by the way thank you i i love i love them i'm gonna get them tattooed on my ass next month <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> i can't i can't tell if she's joking or not so <laughs> look look you see my face you can see my face they can't yeah. see my face but you can see my face i'm you dead ass serious. I'm serious. Dead ass serious. <laughs> it's gonna be the O in the center. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing about that. I am considering to getting a tattoo. <laughs> Not on my ass. <laughs> wow. That is oh, that's perfect. I can't okay. Um I what the fuck we were doing? <laughs> Champ, thank you again. Uh that word of advice is something that I think again everyone needs to hear it was very <laughs> i'm still tripping over the oh i'm like voodoo oh oh there's a bunch of o's like, which, one you ch <laughs> which oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right <clears throat> sham where can the people find your content if they want to check in on what you're doing and seeing how your content journey is going thus far well um thanks to continuity and people that's another important thing about streaming and content creation you see a new content you see a new platform create your shit immediately with your name yeah and then you can get it like an llc and it'll be easy but anyway um you can find me sham bam ty ma'am sham bam thank you ma'am and all your social medias facebook instagram twitch youtube twitter yes i still call it twitter Fuck yeah Elon. exactly <laughs> <laughs> TikTok, you can find me everywhere. Sham Bam T Y Ma'am. It sounds hard to spell, so if you need to spell it, just Google. You can find me there too. Uh, <laughs> just it'll help you spell it out easier. Easy. On that note, if you know anyone who can benefit from hearing conversations like these, share the podcast with them. Tell your friends that hey, this guy Jermaine Crip, however you know me, is doing things with other creators, and you should probably listen to it. I have no signs of stopping. This is episode I think nineteen is going up with Sham, and it's been Woo. nothing but like it's just been fun so far. I, this is me having fun with my friends, and you get to hear the conversation afterwards. So go ahead, podcast, Google, 
Apple, YouTube, Amazon, and all them shits. We're about to shut this motherfucker down. Shay, do you have any last words you want to provide to the to the congregation? Yes. Wash your ass, please. I know, I know, I know some of y'all out there scared of water. It's high. It's all good. It's coochie. But make an effort to wash your ass. Yes. That's all. I, I agree. With soap between the cheeks. That's it. With soap. And your legs too. What yeah. the hell? Why are you at it? Like what the fuck? Niggas out here ain't washing their legs. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? That shit gets dirty too. Okay. Um, on that note, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.